how to create a boundary. The following pages will outline the steps necessary to create a boundary from a coverage or import a boundary from a shape file. Boundaries are an integral part of a multitude of X30 functions. Creating a boundary from an X30 coverage map, chapter one. The following pages will guide you through the steps required to create a boundary from an X30 coverage map as well as the steps to edit the boundaries. The first step will be to start a new field and job, then see the first headland pass. Open the field icon, then you can select a field from the list or create a new field. Now open the job menu, start a new job, seed your first headland pass as indicated in green. Please make special note of the small area where that we clutched on in the air. Open the field menu. Then select the boundary icon. Note that it created two shape files. Press the green check to proceed. To edit a boundary, you press and hold the boundary you wish to edit, then release it to open the edit button. can now edit the selected boundary. If you wish to delete an errant boundary, select the trash button. Exclusion zones. The following steps will help guide you through the steps required to create and edit exclusion zones. Exclusion zones can be a valuable tool to create secondary headlands within an existing field boundary. Chapter two. Seat around the area you wish to exclude, then select the boundary icon. Shape files have been created around the coverage. Note that there are two boundaries, one around the field and one around the new exclusion zone. If you wish to use the inside boundary as an exclusion zone, Change the exclusion headland to yes. Now you are able to utilize such functions as boundary limited to headland. Note that the seeder will only seed within the light gray unseeded ground within the orange secondary headland boundary. Importing a boundary. The following steps will guide you through the steps required to import a shape file to use as a boundary in your X30. This would be a very valuable tool to transfer boundary shape files from one X30 to another or import shape files from a third party. Chapter 3 To export a boundary shape file from a X30 coverage map, you can export the job by selecting the job menu, then the Data Exchange menu. With a USB memory stick installed, then select the blue USB icon. Make sure the Create Shape Files has been selected. Now, moving to a different X30 to import a boundary shape file into an X30 from a USB stick. You enter the field menu and then select create boundary from shape file icon. Select the blue USB icon. Drill down into the USB folders till you find the desired shape.shp file and then select it. Select this icon to convert the shapefile to a usable format. 
Once you have imported the boundary shape file, you can utilize the headland manager, the field boundary limits, and the exclusion zones. For more detailed instructions on Borgo Industries boundary and boundary editing, please refer to the field boundary selection of the X30 Borgo Operators Manual. Thank you.